There is nothing too hard for God to do because he is the God of all flesh and there is nothing too hard for him to do. What is that thing that you are trusting God for? Believe him for the impossible and you will get the impossible. He told us in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 that you should cast your cares upon the Lord for he cares for you. No matter how it seems that there is no hope for you, do not believe the lie of the devil. God's thoughts for you are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. Today we will be inviting God to all situations that are contrary to God's will for us. The word of God says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3 that you should call upon him in the time of trouble. He will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the will of God will be done in your life. According to the word of God in Romans 8.28, which says, All things work together for good to them that love God and have been called according to his purpose. From today, I decree that all things are working for your good, whether the devil likes it or not, in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the plans of the wicked ones targeted at you are nullified. God will give you peace in stormy situations. God will carry you and comfort you all the days of your life in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Philippians 4 verses 19 that God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. The Lord will supply all your needs and you will not lack anything in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the Lord will show himself strong and mighty in your life and the family. In that name, Jesus, you will not be stranded and forsaken. I release the help of God into your life and you will not lack help in any area of your life. Exodus 14, 14 says that God will fight for you and you will hold your peace. And by the reason of the word of God will stand sure, the Lord will begin to fight all your battles for you in the name of Jesus. And I release the help of God into all areas of your life. God's presence will overshadow all adverse situations in your life and family and his manifold presence will bring peace and orderliness in chaotic situations in Jesus name. You will not be anxious for anything as the Lord will rise up in all mightiness and help you in Jesus name. You will seek the Lord and he will answer and deliver you from all your fears in Jesus name. I pray for you that you will always have the boldness and confidence to seek the Lord at all times I decree over you that the Lord will do a new thing in your life and your family and you will experience the almighty hands of God in all ramifications in Jesus name. God will fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him to step into your situation. I decree in the name of Jesus that the Lord will wipe away all tears from your eyes and you shall not experience death in any area of your life. You will not be short of ideas and the Lord would give you divine ideas that would turn your finances around for good in Jesus name. I release the grace of God into your life to assuage for the losses you might have recorded in your life in the name of Jesus. There is speed in all facets of your life. The spirit of stagnation is destroyed. You would no longer labor hard but get little resource from your labor in Jesus name. You will be grounded in knowing what God is saying over your situation past season and in time in Jesus name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I cancel all the plans of the devil and his cohorts to frustrate the will of God for you and your family in the name of Jesus. We thank you Father for answering all our prayers. This is the confidence that we have that if we ask anything in your name, you will give it to us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. All the things holding you back might be physical or spiritual, but these things are lesser than you because you have been made more than a conqueror in Jesus Christ. The scripture says in Nahum 1.13, and I quote, so now I will break off his yoke bar upon you and I'll tear off your shackles. 
End of quote. The things holding you back are chains and these chains can be broken using the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. All bondages are destroyed by the name of Jesus. Now we will be using the name of Jesus to break free from all things limiting us. So it will be on that day that his burden will be removed from your shoulders and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be broken because of fatness. The anointing of God abides in you and by the reason of it, all yokes are destroyed. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that all things that are limiting you and your family are destroyed. You're free from all the things that are making you and your family go around in circles in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, you will not be limited and stagnated in life. The word of God says in Jeremiah 38, It shall come about on that day, declares the Lord God of hosts, that I will break his yoke off their neck and will tear off their bonds and strangers will no longer make them their slaves. According to the word of God, I decree over you that the Lord will break your yoke off your neck and strangers would no longer make you slaves in the name of Jesus. Psalm 107 verse 16 says, For he has shattered the gates of bronze and cut bars of iron asunder. By the word of God, I pray that all the gates of the wicked ones that have lifted up its heads against you are shattered and the bars of iron that have kept you in bondage are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You are no longer a stranger in chains from today. You walk in victory that you have in Christ Jesus. The scripture says in Psalm 6, 8 verse 6, that God makes a home for the lonely. He leads out the prisoners into prosperity and only the rebellious dwell in a past land. By the power in the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will lead you out to your prosperity all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that all habits that have made you obsessed come to an end now in Jesus' name. Isaiah 42 verse 7 says, To open the blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the dungeon, and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. In the name of Jesus, I decree that everyone in captivity in your family will come out of the prison. They have been kept and I decree that their eyes are open and free from demonic oppression in the name of Jesus. I decree that your soul escapes as a bird out of the snare of the trapper. The snare is broken and you have escaped in the name of Jesus. I decree that you would never be stagnated in anything you do. In the name of Jesus, all the plans of the evil ones to cause you a major setback, which you would not be able to recover from, are thwarted in the name of Jesus. Lord will go before you and make the rough places smooth. He will also shatter the doors of bronze and cut through their iron bars in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will break the bars of your yoke and make you walk erect in all your ways in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name I decree that the Lord will cut into the cords of the wicked in your life and family in Jesus' name. Romans 8 2 says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. By the word of God, I decree that you are no longer a slave to sin, but a slave to righteousness in the name of Jesus. And I decree over you that you are walking in the freedom that Christ has given to you. And in the name of Jesus, I release the angel of the Lord to go ahead of you and destroy all the devices of the wicked ones that want to put you in captivity. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. You must put your trust completely in God, both in good and bad times. Scripture says that those that put their trust in God would never be ashamed and they are also wise. You might look stupid to the world for trusting God when situations go south. They do not understand why you must do that because the things of the Spirit 
or foolishness to them. Trusting God shows your level of faith in Him. It also indicates how close you are to Him in the place of fellowship. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. Today, we'll be praying that we will learn how to put our trust in God despite the circumstances around us. Let us pray together in faith, believing that we would get the answers to our prayers. Father, we thank you for helping us put our trust in you. We know that putting our trust in you would make us never be ashamed. We thank you, Lord, for teaching us how to depend on and trust in you completely with all our strength, spirit, and soul. Now I will be making these declarations over you. Receive the prayers with faith. The Word of God says in 1 Peter 5 verse 7, Cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. According to the word of God that never fails, I pray for you that you will cast all your troubles, pains, weaknesses, and areas of concern to the Lord. Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for your good because you love God and have been called according to his purpose. I pray for you that you will always learn to trust God. As you do this, all things begin to work for your good by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Holy Ghost will teach you and comfort your heart on how to trust the Lord completely. The Word of God in Isaiah 26 verse 3 says that He will keep in perfect peace those whose mind is fixed in Him. I pray for you that your heart will be fixed on the Lord despite all the antics of the devil and his cohorts against you by the power in Jesus' name. I release the grace for you to put on your trust and dependence in God holy without any reservation in the name of Jesus. As you look to the Lord in all situations and circumstances, your face will be lightened and never be darkened in Jesus' name. I declare over you that no situation would ever make you doubt the faithfulness and love of God for you. When all hope seems lost, you will still be unshaken and unmovable in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel all the plans of the enemies to make you lose sight of who you are in Christ. You will love God even in bad situations in the name of Jesus. Nothing will distract you and make you jump from pillar to post in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 26 verse 4 says that you should trust in the Lord forever for the Lord himself is the rock eternal. Because of the word of God, I pray for you that you will put your trust in God forever. In Jesus' name. The Bible also says in Isaiah 41 verse 10 that you should not be afraid and you should not be dismayed for the Lord God is with you. Right now, I pray for you that you would never be afraid of the activities of the evil ones who are plotting against you because the Lord will always be with you. He will always strengthen your heart to trust him completely in the name of Jesus. Just as Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the thoughts I have towards you, thoughts of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. I begin to activate the strength and faith to trust God's plan for you. You will not leave him and his will for you in the name of Jesus. Your heart will never be troubled as we keep on trusting in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Nothing will ever pluck you out of the perfect will of the Lord in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every other name, I pray that the agenda of the devil and his cohorts to make you grow weak and faint in adversities is thwarted in Jesus' name. From today, I pray for you that you'll be strong and courageous. You will not be shaken or afraid of the attacks of the evil ones against you and your family. Proverbs 29 verse 5 says that those that trust God will be kept safe and because the word of God never fails, I therefore pray for you that as you keep on trusting in the Lord, you will be kept safe from all the attacks of the evil ones in Jesus' name. 
when every other person around you is fainting, you will still trust the Lord always and never be weary of trusting Him. I pray for you that as you trust in the Lord, He will help you in all areas of your life. Psalm 32 verse 10 says that many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds those who trust Him. Right now, I pray for you that the Lord's unfailing love would surround you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus. You will always wait and trust in the Lord without reservation. Your heart will lean on the Lord and not your own understanding. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. There is a need for you and me to remain rooted in the love of God. It was explicitly stated in Jude 1, 21 for us to remain in the love of God and looking out for the mercy of God. Many things can make us stray away from the love of God, but the truth is nothing can ever separate you from the love of Christ. You are in the hollow of God's palm and there is nothing that can pluck you out of his hands. The Bible says in Ephesians 6:10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We will be praying today that the Lord would help us to stand firm in him and to remain rooted in his love despite all the things that might want to shift our attention from the King of Kings. Let us pray together in faith. Father, we thank you for making us rooted in your love. Bless you for keeping us in the hollow of your palms. By this, we have the assurance and confidence that we cannot be shaken. Father, I pray for all your children that are listening to this message today. I pray, Lord, that they will remain rooted in your love in the name of Jesus. Nothing will make them shift their attention away from you. According to Ephesians 6, 11, put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. According to the word of God, I decree over you that you will always put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to withstand the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. As Peter 5, 9 says, resist him, the devil, firm in your faith, knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. I pray for you today that you will resist the devil steadfastly and you will not be discouraged when you face trials, storms, troubles and persecutions in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that nothing will plug you out of the hands of God. The devil and his cohorts would never see you stray out of the love of God in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says, Be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. I stand upon the word of God right now and I decree over you that you will be able to be steadfast, immovable, and you will always abound in the work of the Lord at all times in Jesus' name. By the power in the word of God, I pray for you that you will be zealous to good works, always in the name of Jesus. You will stay in the love of God despite all the distractions going around you in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will be on the alert. You will stand firm in the faith and you will be strong and courageous in Jesus' name, as I plead the blood of Jesus over you, I pray for you that the blood of Jesus will keep you and shield you from all the fiery darts of the devil and his cohorts in Jesus' name. I release strength for you to be able to remain steadfast in the works of the Lord amid all the chaos happening around you by the power in the name of Jesus. There is nothing that will make you begin to doubt the faithfulness and tender, compassionate mercy of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And right now I arrest all the forces of darkness that are bent on making you leave the will of God for you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will keep you and preserve you always in his presence in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the grace of God will help you in standing firm in Him at all times in your life. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 say, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. 
In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. I decree over you that you will trust in the Lord and never lean on your own understanding. The Lord will help you submit to him and as you do this, your path will become straight in Jesus' name. You will stand firm in the Lord until the day of his glorious appearance. You will be caught up with him in the clouds as he comes again to take up the saints with him in the name of Jesus. The God of all peace will fill your heart with all peace and joy as you keep on trusting in him. I decree over you that you will run the race that is before you with patience. Your eyes will remain fixed on the prize and nothing will make you lose sight of where you are going in Jesus' name. By the special power that is embedded in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will walk worthy of your calling and you will not do what the Lord has not called you to do in the name of Jesus. The mercy of the Lord will keep you focused and deeply rooted in Him. I release the grace to never join the wrong association that will make you stray away from His presence. The love of God will be stirred in your spirit and you will have an experiential knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. I say to you that you will not only love the Lord in words, but also in deed in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The entrance of God's word gives light and understanding to the simple. The Word of God illuminates and opens a man up for revelation as the Word of God is the sure way to get divine wisdom and understanding. The more of the Word of God in you, the more valuable you will become as the Holy Spirit opens the eyes of your mind to see treasures in the Word of God. We will be praying today that our eyes of understanding are enlightened as we study the Word of God. Psalm 119 verse 18 says, Open my eyes that I might behold wondrous things in the Word of God. If you're ready, let's pray. Father, we thank you Lord for your Word that you have made available for us. Well, thank you because you are the Word of God and you are at work inside of us. We well, bless your name, Lord, for your Word is yea and amen in you. And it does not change and it will always remain true. Your Word says in Acts 26 verse 18, to open the eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God that they might receive forgiveness of sins and a place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. By reason of this, I pray for all that are listening to this message today, that they will be translated from all forms of darkness that they are into to the marvelous light. I also pray that anywhere they are experiencing darkness in their lives will be turned to light in the name of Jesus. By the power of God's word, I pray that you will begin to see mysteries and secrets that will turn your life around as you study the word of God in the name of Jesus. Ephesians 1.18 says, Having the eyes of your heart enlightened, that you may know the hope to which he has called you, that are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. I pray for you listening to me today that your eyes are opened and you will know your calling and purpose in life. You would no longer live life like every other person in the name of Jesus. The word of God will open your eyes to see treasures that you have not taken possession of in the name of Jesus. Your eyes will be open to see what the Lord has in store for you because his word says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 9 and 10 that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men that which God has prepared for them that love him. For God has revealed them to us by his spirit for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of the spirit. I pray for you that your vision will not be deemed and neither will your strength be abated as you study the word of God in Jesus name. I decree over you that in any way that you are confused as touching 
major decisions in your life, the Word of God will give you illumination and direction in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray your senses of discernment are heightened and you will be attuned much more to God's voice. I decree that the eyes of those people that have been blinded spiritually by the devil in your family are opened in the name of Jesus. As you study the word of God, you will grasp light, life and revelation from it in the name of Jesus. You will not be blindfolded by the powers of darkness as the word of God would give you your inheritance in Christ and will give you the hidden treasures of darkness in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that God will begin to make known his ways to you and you will see his acts as we dedicate time to get an understanding from the word of God. I pray also that you would not be led astray by false teachers. The word of God will garrison your hearts against these false teachers in the name of Jesus. You will stay rooted in the word of God and you will be of an understanding heart and a teachable spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I send back all the arrows of distractions that are shot at you to blind your spiritual sensitivity in Jesus name. We thank you Lord for hearing and answering us. Thank you, Jesus, for meeting us at the point of our need. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God has promised to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. He also told us not to be anxious about what we are going to eat, drink, or wear. Because he knows that we need these things for survival. He is too committed to seeing you starve or be in want. The young lion men lack and suffer hunger. But they that trust in the Lord shall not lack any good thing. All your needs are met already in Christ Jesus. Do not be like someone that is in need, rather act like one that lends to nations. The word of God says you cannot ask God for a fish and he will give you a serpent. We'll be asking God what we want in his name with faith, believing that our prayers are answered. Let us pray together in faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray today for you that all your needs are met according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. I pray for you that you would not lack anything good in the mighty name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 8 says, And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. By the reason of the word of God, which is yea and amen in him, I decree that you are blessed in all things and you will always have sufficiency in all things and also abounding unto good works in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that you have all things that pertain unto life and godliness. The Lord would never leave you and he will never forsake you. He will keep on meeting you at the point of your needs. From today, I decree over you that you would be a giver and not always a receiver in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will begin to possess the hidden treasures of darkness. You would not beg before you eat. The Lord will cause you to eat in abundance in the name of Jesus. John 10.10 10 says that Jesus has come to give you life and to give you this life in abundance. I therefore pray for you that the life of God will be seen much more in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you would not sow and another man reap from where you have sown. The Lord will bless the works of your hands in the name of Jesus. Matthew 6.33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added to you. From today, I pray for you that you will always seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and as you do that, all other things will be added to you. 
The Lord will cause you to give to nations and you'll be called blessed by the Lord. By nations. Kings will come to the brightness of your rising and Gentiles will come to your light in the mighty name of Jesus. That idea that would forever take you away from the valley of lack and penury will be released unto you whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not. I pray for you that you will arise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has been risen upon you. The Lord will rain an avalanche of resources on you and your family in the name of Jesus. There is no stagnation and limitation for you in all ramifications in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the angel in charge of sending you your daily benefits is put to work for your sake in Jesus' name. And I decree over you that nothing dies in your hands in the name of Jesus. Help will always come to you when you need it and your helpers will locate you whether the devil likes it or not. I cancel all the devices of the wicked ones to steal the good things that God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. There is progress and supernatural speed for you and your family even this season in the name of Jesus. The project that you might have embarked on is completed in this season. I release the rain of abundance of resources for you and your family throughout the season and even forevermore in Jesus name. God has promised to restore all the years the caterpillar, cankerworm and locust have eaten. He's the God of restoration. Psalm 23 verse 3 says, He restores my soul and he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He's ready to restore your marriage, health, business, academics, finance and every other area in which you need a complete restoration. Not only does he restore, but he also makes whole. He can make you whole in your health and all other strategic places you need his divine touch. The word of God says in Jeremiah 30, 17, For I will restore health unto you and I'll heal you of all your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeks after. He has promised you in his word that he is going to heal you of all wounds. Be they physical wounds, emotional wounds, or financial wounds, I pray for you that your health is restored today in Jesus' name. So we will be praying for complete restoration of all that the devil and his agents have stolen from us and the wholeness of our spirit, souls, and bodies. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing us and making us whole from all our infirmities. Thank you for restoring all the things that the enemy has stolen from us. In Jesus' name. With faith in your heart, receive these prayers and declaration I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and your family that the Lord will restore your health and heal all kinds of wounds you have been suffering from in Jesus' name. Right now, I leverage on the name of the Lord Jesus and I decree a complete restoration of your finance. There is no more labor loss for you. Joel 2.25 says, And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. According to God's word, I proclaim and say that the Lord is restoring your years and all wasted labor that did not yield tangible results are restored in Jesus' name. The Lord will cause a complete restoration of your finance. You would no longer labor in vain. There is productivity and fruitfulness for you. Right now, there is a restoration of the anointing of God in your ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord is healing and restoring your soul of every emotional wound and pain in the name of Jesus. 
by the power in the name of Jesus I make a declaration that there is a complete restoration of your lost glory you are revived in your spirit mind I also pray that the Lord would turn your captivity around like those that dreamed your dry bones are receiving flesh and sinews in the name of Jesus Right now, I pray that all your hopes that have been dashed and deferred in the past because of the failed promises are restored by the power in the name of Jesus. You will have every reason to live and enjoy the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Your business that is not doing well as it should begins to flourish and prosper like the tree planted by the riverside in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you possess back all the good things the wicked ones have stolen from you by the power in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 verse 12 says, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. According to God's word, I pray for you that your joy that was stolen or tampered with by the wicked ones is restored. And I pray for you that the Lord would uphold your spirit. The scripture in Psalm 8 to 5 verse 4 says, Restore us, O God of our salvation, and put away our indignation towards us. Right now, I leverage on that word, and I pray for you that the Lord restores to you in all ramifications and have mercy upon you and your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring you back to your rightful place and restore you in sevenfold. I pray that the Lord is helping you to build back broken bridges between you and people that have offended you in times past. For your shame, the Lord is giving you double honor. And for ashes, he is giving you beauty in the name of Jesus. From today, you begin to lay gold as dust. And the Lord is speaking hope into all hopeless situations for your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. The resurrection power that rose Jesus from the dead will fall upon your life right now and begin to bring back to life all things that are dead in your life. I decree that the anointing to recover all that the enemy has stolen from you falls upon you right now. The mercy of God will arise and push you your destiny to the right location and people in the name of Jesus. I command a sevenfold restoration of all the wonderful things the wicked ones have stolen from you and all the good things that are meant for you but in the possession of others are restored to you right away in Jesus name. I unseat all the evil ones that are sitting in your rightful position and are sitting on your promotion and prosperity in the name of Jesus. You begin to enjoy all good things that the Lord has specially prepared for you and your family in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In the realm of the spirit, there exists a battle that rages on. A battle not fought with conventional weapons, but with the power of prayer and the might of faith. It is warfare unlike any other. For it is weighed against the forces of darkness that seek to hinder and destroy the plans and purposes that God has ordained for your life. As you embark on this journey of spiritual warfare, let your heart be filled with a resolute determination and unwavering trust in the Lord, for he is your shield and your strength. Isaiah 42 verse 2 says, God will go before you and will leave the mountains. I break the gates of brass and break in pieces the bars of iron. And verse 3 went on to say that God would give you the hidden riches toward in secret places so that you would know that he is God of Israel who calls you by name. God is about breaking the gates of your enemies and will give you their spoils. Almighty and merciful God, I humbly come before your presence knowing that you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. 
You are the God who fights for me, the one who goes before me in battle. I acknowledge that the enemy is strong and his gates are fortified. But I also know that you are the God of breakthrough, the one who gives me victory over every adversary in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you prepare me for the battle. As I clothe myself with the armor of your righteousness and gird me with the belt of truth, Lord God, let my feet remain shot with the readiness of the gospel of peace. And as I take up the shield of faith to extinguish every fairy dart of the evil one, I place upon my head the helmet of salvation that I may have the mind of Christ and I hold on the sword of the spirit which is your word that I may declare your truth with boldness and authority in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus I bind every spirit of darkness that seeks to hinder and obstruct the plans and purposes that you have ordained for me. I break every chain and every stronghold that has been erected against me. I command every demonic force to flee from my presence and to submit to the authority of Christ. I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against me in judgment is already condemned in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I pray for the strength and endurance to press on in this battle. When my heart grows weary and my faith falters, remind me of your promises. Remind me that you are my refuge and fortress, my God whom I trust. Teach me to be still and know that you are God and that you will fight for me. Grant me the wisdom to discern the strategies of the enemy and the discernment to hear your voice amidst the chaos of the battlefield in Jesus' name. As I confront the gates of the enemy, I pray for divine insight and understanding. Open my eyes to see the hidden schemes and tactics that the enemy employs. Give me the wisdom to discern his lies and discernment to recognize his disguises. Let the light of your truth expose every wickedness and illuminate the path that you have set before me in Jesus' name. I take authority over every demonic principality and power that has established a stronghold over the gates of the enemy. I declare that these gates shall not prevail against me, for greater is he who is in me than who is in this world. I command every demonic entity to be bound and cast out, and I release the power of the Holy Ghost to demolish every barrier and tear down every stronghold in Jesus' name. Lord, as I possess the gates of the enemy, I pray for a spirit of boldness and courage. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may be fearless in the face of opposition. Give me the strength to stand firm in the battle, knowing that you are with me. Let my faith be unshakable and resolve on yielding as I press forward to claim the victory that is already won in Jesus' name. I surrender my will and my desires to you, O Lord. I submit myself wholly to your plan and purpose for my life. Help me to overcome the plans of wicked ones, and I take possession of the spoils of the enemy in Jesus' name. O Heavenly Father, I come before you in humble reverence, acknowledging your sovereignty and might. I recognize that the battles I face are not merely against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil that seek to hinder your purpose in my life. Today, I stand at the gates of the enemy, ready to claim victory through the power of your Holy Spirit, Jesus. Lord, I ask that you equip me with the full armor of God, Guard my waist with the belt of truth, that I may discern deceit and walk in righteousness. Clothe me with the breastplate of righteousness, guarding my heart against the enemy's attack. Place under me and upon my feet the readiness of the gospel of peace, that I may walk in your ways and share your love with those around me. I take up the shield of faith, that I may extinguish every fiery dart aimed at my spirit. Place upon my head the helmet of salvation, protecting my mind and thoughts from the enemy's lies 
and finally place in my hand the sword of the spirit which is your word that i may wield it with wisdom and authority in jesus name as i stand before the gates of the enemy i declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper i cast down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of god i proclaim that i'm more than a conqueror through him who loves me by the power of the holy spirit i bind every demonic force and rendered them powerless and ineffective in the name of jesus i command the gates of the enemy to crumble and fall for greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world in the name of jesus oh precious lord i surrender my will to yours fill me with your holy spirit that i may walk in step with your divine guidance open my eyes to see the strategies of the enemy and grant me discernment to navigate through the snares and traps set before me lead me not into temptation but deliver me from evil grant me supernatural wisdom to overcome every obstacle and insight and cover the hidden schemes of the enemy in jesus name i ask dear lord for renewed strength and unwavering faith when doubt and weariness try to overtake me remind me of your promises and the victories you have already won on my behalf may i stand firm in the assurance that you are with me and no weapon formed against me shall prosper in jesus name father i intercede for those who are also standing at the gates of the enemy strengthen their resolve and empower them with your spirit release your angels to encamp around them and guard them against the forces of darkness let the power of your love flow through them dismantling strongholds and transforming lives May they too possess the gates of the enemy and advance your kingdom in the spiritual realms in Jesus' name. Lord, I surrender my desires and fears and my very being into your hands. May your will be done in my life and the lives of my family in Jesus' name. Amen. It is necessary that Thanksgiving should be your lifestyle. Our Lord Jesus cultivated the lifestyle of consistently giving thanks to God. When the praises go up, the glory comes down. There are days you will not feel like thanking God because of the negative things going on around you, but that is the best time to thank God. As a matter of fact, the best way to access God's presence is through thanksgiving. Psalm 100 verse 4 says you should enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. The right posture to coming to God is a posture of appreciation and gratitude for the good things he did for you in the past. What he is doing presently and what he is still going to do in the future. Give thanks to God at all times. The word of God says in Ephesians 5.20, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is a good thing to give thanks to God. People that have made thanksgiving a lifestyle are called people after God's heart like the way David was called. I trust that you will be called that today after these prayers. It is time to pray together in faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll thank you, Lord, for saving and redeeming us from the curse of the Lord. We we'll thank you, Lord, for making us like you. Blessed be your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me unconditionally despite all the flaws and my errors. I thank you for loving me for who I am and not for what I am. Glory to your name, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for your provision. Thank you for always being with me and my family at the point of need. The word of God says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 18, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Father, according to your word, I am here to thank you for all that you have done for me and my family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being a loving and a caring father to us. Blessed be unto your name. 
Psalm 107 verse 1 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. In the name of Jesus, I am giving thanks to you, Lord, for your steadfast love and because of your constant goodness towards me and my family. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for putting a new song on my lips and on the lips of every member of my family. Glory be to your holy name. Lord Jesus, I thank you for putting the devil and all his minions warring against your will from coming to pass in my life into null and void. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I have no other thing to offer to you other than the words of my lips, which is gratitude. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have blessed me with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in you. Thank you because I have all that pertains to life and godliness. Lord Jesus, I give you the adoration for making me more than a conqueror through your perfect and unconditional love for me. Blessed be unto your name. And Father, I am here with the sincere heart to bless your name for destroying all the activities of darkness in my life and my family. I extol your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for always hearing and answering all my prayers. I know, for you never leave me to myself and allowing the enemies to triumph over me. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. In the name of Jesus, I bless your name, Lord Jesus, for giving me the ability to not be anxious or bothered about anything, but to always give thanks to you in every situation that I go through. Psalms 9 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will recount all of your wonderful deeds according to your word. I am here to say thank you with all of my heart for all the good things you have done for me in the past present and future. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you have given me the ability to always recount of all the wonderful things you have done for me, whether I am in the good or bad times. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let your name, Lord, be praised for exalting your word above all my present circumstances that are contrary to your will in my life. I thank you for giving me the ability to always come to your presence with confidence and boldness. I bless your name, Lord Jesus, for making my thanksgiving overflowing always to your glory. Blessed be your name. Let your name, Lord Jesus, be glorified and exalted above all the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Jesus, for allowing your word to be my priority despite all the things that are happening around me. I will keep on thanking you, Lord Jesus, because your love and your mercy endure in my life and family. I extol your name, Lord, for always perfecting all that concerns me and my family in Jesus' name. I thank you for making your ways known to me and my family. Thank you, Jesus, for revealing your plans and purpose for me and my family. I thank you, Lord, for making me a light even in a dark and perverse generation. I give you the praise for making me stand rooted in your love and never compromise my love and faith in you. Thank you for satisfying my mouth with good things, unloading me daily with benefits. I thank you because I am extraordinarily blessed and extravagantly loved in the name of Jesus. Father, I bless your name. Lord, for destroying all the activities of the devil and his cohorts in my life and family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for annulling all the evil plots of the wicked ones that are planning to disgrace me and my family. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for answering all my prayers of thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, I pray. There is this assurance that we have in the name of Jesus that we are more than conquerors through Christ that first loved us. The Word of God says in 1 John 4, 4 that you are of God and have overcome the world because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 
you have been made victorious already in Christ. You are to activate that victory by faith in Christ Jesus. Also, the Word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We are made victorious already in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. The devil has fallen like lightning from heaven and now he is under our feet. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all that are listening to me today that the word of God would gain eminence in their lives and make you victorious over all the works of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I also decree that all my battle has been won already in Christ Jesus. I am made more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved me in Jesus' name. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14 says, But thanks be to God who always lead me in triumph in Christ and manifest through us the sweet aroma of knowledge of him in every place. By the power in that word, I pray for myself that the Lord will lead me in triumph and manifest through me his sweet aroma of the knowledge of him in Jesus. Even if others boast about their high level of security, my boast will be in security and safety that I enjoy in Christ Jesus. I decree that the Lord would give me help against the adversary in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Psalm 60 verses 11 to 12 that deliverance by man is in vain and that through God I would do valiantly. According to this word, I decree over my life that I would not depend on the help of men. Rather, I will put my trust in God who alone has made me more than conqueror. And I decree that through God, I would do valiantly in the name of Jesus. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that the Lord will help me to sing songs of triumph over all the works of the enemies. I decree that the finished works of Christ Jesus in Revelation 5:12 which are power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing will be my default state all the days of my life. I release the angel of the Lord to go ahead of me and begin to clear all the crooked places in front of me in the name of Jesus. And I also decree that the angel of the Lord will chase the workers of iniquity and darkness who are planning to hurt me in Jesus' name. I decree over my life that my heart would not fear. I will look with satisfaction on all my adversaries in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 2 7 says that God reserves sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity. I pray that I have the wisdom of God in me that would always make me victorious in all areas of my life. And I decree that the Lord would always be my shield and exceed in great reward. Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. I decree over my life that henceforth all things will begin to work for my good whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not in Jesus name. From today, I decree that goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life and I will continually dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I stand upon the word of God that all the plans and plots of the wicked ones against me and my family fall to the ground in the name of Jesus. Psalm 98 verse 1 says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath gotten me victory. Because of the word of God, I decree that the Lord would put a new song in my mouth to sing and his right hand would give me victory against all the works of darkness in Jesus' name. In my life and my family, I decree that death is swallowed up in victory in the name of Jesus. The Lord would also wipe away all tears from my eyes and the eyes of all my loved ones in Jesus' name. And despite all the tribulations going on around me, I will always be of good cheer because Christ has overcome the world for my sake. 
I will always overcome evil with good at all times, irrespective of the temptation sent at me. I decree that I am no longer a slave to sin, but a slave to righteousness. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I decree that I am never defeated in the name of Jesus. I will fight a good fight of faith and I decree and declare that I will finish my cause. I will possess the hidden treasures of darkness and secret reaches in hidden places. I will always be girded with the whole armor of God. And by this, I would always emerge victorious against all the schemes of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering all my prayers. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. The word of God in your mouth is to build the kind of future you want for yourself. All you need to do to be successful and great is embedded in the Word of God. The Word of God has a capacity to turn your life around for good. What you need to do is to enforce the Word of God in your life, in areas that you need to touch. Remember the answer to every of your problem is in the Word of God. God's Word must be made flesh. It must be tangible for all to see. All the situations and circumstances around you are subject to the Word of God. You must legislate the Word of God in your territory. Joshua 1 verse 8 says, This book of the law should not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night, and that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your ways prosperous, and then you shall have good success. Meditating on the word means that you speak and confess the word. So today we will be confessing the word of God over your life. Do it in faith. In the name of Jesus. I thank you Lord Jesus for giving me your word. Your word is all I have got. Your word has made me complete in you. Thank you Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that all that rightfully belongs to me becomes mine in the name of Jesus. Sir John 1 verse 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. I stand upon the word of God and I decree that I will prosper and be in health in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. Philippians 4 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I pray for you that I begin to do extraordinary things in the kingdom. I wrath great wonders in the name of Jesus. And I pray that never again will I be found as a mediocre. I rise above every amateurish attitude. I have the wisdom of God that makes me greater than my equals. The word of God says by the power of the name of Jesus that I have all that pertains to life and godliness and my assurance is that I can do all that he has put inside of me. I pray that in the name of Jesus that all that was telling from me by the wicked ones in the past are restored in sevenfold. The word of God says in Luke 1 verse 37 that with God all things are possible. I proclaim over my life that all things that seem difficult and impossible become possible. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the peace of God will rule over my life and my family in the name of Jesus, declaring that all the raging storms will assuage even as I speak now. I pray that I will get the honor that the Lord has already bestowed for me, being made manifest that I will be honored by the law with wealth and with fresh foods of my increase always in the name of Jesus. Luke 6 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, so shall men give to you. I stand upon this word and I say that I would give to God and people bountifully 
because it is written in the word of God that blessed is he that giveth than the hand that receiveth. I will never be on the receiving end in the name of Jesus. I am blessed in the city and blessed in the country in the name of Jesus. I decree that I am blessed in the fruit of my body and in the fruit of my hand. And as I decree in the name of Jesus that my fruits of the body they become blessed. The works of my hands are blessed and I'm willing and obedient as I eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. I pray concerning my life as I speak by the part in the name of Jesus that all the wicked ones that have come against me will flee before me in seven ways even as they came in one way. The word of God says in Philippians 4 verses 19 that the Lord would supply all my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I know that there is potency in this word and as I release knowing that God would do for me, I decree that all my needs are met and I do not lack anything in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd and I lack nothing. He is restoring my soul in the name of Jesus. I also decree that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for God is with me. His rod and his staff would always comfort me in the name of Jesus. Galatians 3.13 says that Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the Lord. He has been made a curse for me because cursed is anyone that hangs on the tree. I pray that all generational patterns in my life and in my family are broken in the name of Jesus. The curses holding me down and impeding my progress remain broken now as I speak in the name of Jesus. The Lord blesses me and surrounds me with favor as a shield and the God of hope fills me with all joy and peace in believing so that I abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name. I speak peace and joy that surpasses all understanding, relieving inside and outside of me in the name of Jesus. God is working in me both to will and do of his good pleasure, always in the name of Jesus. My words are filled with power and they minister grace to whoever listens to me in the name of Jesus. I pray concerning my life that there is nothing that I touch will be cast. I am blessed because the word of God has said, I have been blessed from the foundation of the earth by the virtue that is in the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare that as I go in, I come out blessed. As I meet anybody, I'm favored of them. In the name of Jesus, I choose to meditate on things that are pure, lovely, true, honest, and of good report in the name of Jesus. I do not fear evil because only goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life. According to the word of God in Zechariah 3 verse 8, which says, I am the apple of God's eye. I proclaim that I am untouchable because I am the apple of God's eye. No man dares to do me any harm and succeeds in it in the name of Jesus. And anyone that rises up with a tongue that is contrary to the will of God in my life, he's already condemned. I declare that I am a joy of many generations and I am excellency of God's power and I dispense the presence of God. Anywhere I go, I shine the light of God in the name of Jesus. I am no longer cold, forsaken or desolate. My names are Hepzibah and Beulah. I am favored. I am favored across regions. I am favored across any race. I am favored across gender. God delights in me always and I'm God's prized possession in the name of Jesus. I no longer have the spirit of fear, but of love power out of sound mind in the name of Jesus. The greatest ally you can ever depend on is the Holy Ghost. There was a time in my life that I was just so confused on what to do because I was going through a lot and it looked like life was not fair to me. The battles were too much for me to handle by myself.
I later discovered that life is spiritual and it only takes those that know this to overcome challenges and storms the enemies send their way. I engage my enemies in prayers by calling on the name of the Lord and I just watched him few months after that silence all my mockers and open doors of opportunities to me. The word of God says in Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 3 that you should call upon God in the day of trouble and he will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you don't know. All your enemies are scared of the name of the Lord when you use it against them. I decree over you that all the mockers around you are silenced in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that the host of heaven will arise for you and scatter all enemies that have risen against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the enemies will never trump over you in all ramifications. You are welcome to this channel. If today is your first time here, I am adopting you into my prayer circle and I will be praying for you and your family daily. All you have to do is to stay connected by hitting the subscribe button in red letter and hitting the notification bell so that YouTube reminds you when I drop any of the prayers God places in my heart for you. Please personalize these prayers for yourself and pray with a strong conviction that God will answer all your prayers. I decree that all the enemies that have vowed not to eat and drink until they see my downfall are disappointed. In the name of Jesus, I command all the forces of darkness gathered to harm me will be utterly put into confusion. The word of the Lord says in Psalm 35 verse 1 that God will plead my cause for them that strive with me and he will fight against them that fight against me. I decree that all my enemies will have God to contend with as they devise my hurt and downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, I command the fire of God to fall on the head of the enemies who have resolved in their hearts to not make me see peace. I bind all the powers and forces of darkness that are sending forth their evil projections against me and all members of my family. I decree that there is total restoration for me. I declare that I recover all that the enemies have stolen from me. In the name of Jesus, I decree that I take the battle to the camp of my enemies and I trounce over them whether they like it or not. Your word says, Lord, in Romans 8, 37, that I am more than a conqueror through you who first loved me. I decree, I declare that I conquer all the war that the enemies are waging against me. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I draw a bloodline round about myself and all members of my family. I decree that I put on all the armor of God and I would stand all the wiles of the enemies. Your word, Lord, in Romans 10, 13 says that anyone that calls upon your name shall be saved. I call on you to come and fight against all my enemies because my strength will fail me if I depend on my share strength. Puny am I without you, Lord. Stand up for my help, Lord. The word of God says in Exodus 14, 14, that God will fight for me and I will hold my peace. I engage the help of God this instant because God is my greatest ally and he begins to fight all my enemies around me and my family. I decree and declare that I would never know defeat all the days of my life and I would never be deficient of God's help in Jesus name. I put my angel to work this instant and I pray that they begin to fight all the forces of darkness gathered against me. In the name of Jesus I put an end to the operation of darkness against my destiny. In the name of Jesus I destroy all the devices of darkness targeted at me destroying me and making me useless in Jesus name. 
by the power in the name of Jesus I walk on the head of my enemies who are on the path of my greatness begin to thank God for answering all your prayers in Jesus name we have prayed I know that your prayers today are answered whether the devil likes it or not Please keep your prayer altar burning and don't forget to always pray because men ought to pray always and not faint. God bless you and keep you. When Jesus died and was buried, a big stone was placed over his tomb so that he would not come out of it. The enemies thought that God could be held down by a big stone. They have forgotten that he is the Lord of the elements and nothing can hold him captive. The tomb, which was like a trap, could not hold Jesus, a prisoner. He came out victorious. Did Jesus win the battle against grave and death for himself? No, he didn't do that for himself. He did that for you and me. This implies that you will come out of all the prisons the enemies have placed you in. You are more than victorious. You can never be held captive by all the prisons the enemies have placed you in. Rejoice! Because your victory has been sealed already over 2,000 years ago. I decree that your soul escapes as a bird from the traps of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you that you come out of every prison the enemy has placed you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that your finances will escape the prison the enemies have placed you. I decree that you will come out stronger and better as you come out of every prison the enemy has placed you. If Christ could not be held captive by the prison of death, and the grave I decree over you that you would never be held in bondage by the power and the prison of the evil ones by the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost I decree that your glory that has been swallowed up by the grave comes to life again in Jesus name I decree over you today that you will never be limited by the prison of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus, I pray over you that your destiny will reject being trapped in the prison of the wicked ones. The word of God says in Isaiah chapter 49 verse 9 that you will say to prisoners that they should go forward and to those who are in darkness that they should show themselves. I decree that you will cause men that are in captivity to come out of their bondage and you will be a lie to those that are in darkness in Jesus name by the power in the name of Jesus I pray over you that all the good things that belong to you that have been buried in the grave are resurrected now in the name of Jesus I plead the blood of Jesus over you and all members of your family I decree that the blood of Jesus will exempt you and your family from captivity the word of the Lord says in Isaiah 49 verse 25 that even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. I decree and declare that you have escaped the captivity of that strong man in your family and you will never be a prey of the terrible in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be held hostage by evil police by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree that your light breaks forth and show you a way out of every dark tunnel in your life. I decree and declare that you will be a herald of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ like the way Apostle Paul was. I decree over you that you will be above all the limitations and barriers the enemy planted on your way to fulfilling your destiny. You will always be victorious and ahead of the enemy's propaganda in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Isaiah 42 verse 7 that God will appoint you as a covenant to the people and a light to the nations to open the blind eyes to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. I pray over you that you will be a covenant to the people that need light and you will open the eyes of those that are in perpetual darkness 
and you will cause those that are in dungeons to escape their captivity in Jesus name. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11 to 12 that God will set prisoners free because of the blood of this covenant. I pray that God will set free any member of your family that is in any form of prison by the power in the blood. I decree that all prayers we have prayed today are answered and you come back with bountiful testimonies. Please keep on praying and studying the word of God. Only through these will you seal the victory you have in Christ Jesus. I want you to know that the fire of God surrounds you because the word of the Lord said in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 5 that God will be a wall of fire round about you and it will be your glory. So God is telling you not to be scared of the devil and his agents attack. Anytime they try to attack you, the fire of God around you will go forth to consume them and they dare not try to penetrate the fire round about you. I declare that the consuming fire of the Holy Ghost will roast all enemies that are trying to attack you in Jesus name. Please pray these prayers in faith. Father, I pray that all enemies that are gathered round me and all members of my family be scattered. In the name of Jesus, I command the fire of the Holy Ghost to go before me and consume all enemies that are plotting my downfall in Jesus' name. I pray that the fire of God goes before me to the camp of my enemies and consume them. By the power in the name of Jesus, I neutralize all the attacks of the enemies that are guarded against my family and me. The word of the Lord says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 that I have the victory over my enemies through my Lord Jesus. I decree that I overcome the enemies that are gathered against me always. The word of God says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 3 that the Lord is faithful and will strengthen me and protect me from the evil ones. I stand upon the word of the Lord and I decree that I am always protected from all my enemies that are gathered round about me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I am an untouchable to all enemies round about me. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all powers of darkness that are plotting my hurt be paralyzed. The word of God says in Revelation 12, 11, that I overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and by the words of my testimony. I plead the blood of Jesus over me and all members of my household. In the name of Jesus, I call down fire and brimstone upon the head of all the forces of darkness ganged up against me in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Lord, in Matthew 18, 18 to 19, that whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever I lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Right now, I bind all the powers of darkness that are gathered against me in all the corners of the earth and I decree that their power is important. I decree and I declare that the enemies will fall in the trap they set for me and they will also fall into the pit they have dug for me. I decree that there is liberty for me from every limitation the devil and his cohort had placed on me. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you arise, Lord, and let all your enemies that are gathered against me be scattered. The word of the Lord says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 that the Lord will cause my enemies who are risen against me to be defeated before me and they shall come out against me in one way and flee before me in seven ways. I decree that all enemies that are gathered against me 
flee before me in seven ways in Jesus name I scatter all the gathering of the powers of darkness by shooting the arrows of God at them by the power in the blood of Jesus I exempt myself from the bondage of the enemies I declare that unfriendly friends who are penetrating to be my friends will never distract me I declare that their plans towards me will be exposed in Jesus name just like the way prophet Elijah called down fire to consume all the armies that were sent to capture him in the name of Jesus I call down the fire of the Lord to consume the enemies that are sent to capture me the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs at it and they are safe I decree that from today I hide under the name of the Lord and I am safe and secured from the attacks of the powers of darkness in Jesus name. Begin to thank God for answering all your prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. I decree over you that you remain under the shadow of the Almighty and the fire of the Lord will go before you and consume all enemies that are gathered round about you in Jesus name. Please endeavor to keep praying because the word of the Lord says in Luke 18 1 that men are to pray always and not get tired of praying. God bless you and keep you. The very first thing I want you to know is that God is for you and no one can be against you. You are beyond being contended with by anyone. The powers of darkness dare not contend with you because you carry the mark of Christ. If God is for you, who possibly can stand against you? Even if the world is against you, God cannot be against you because you are his prized possession. Know this and have assurance and confidence. The Bible urges us in Luke 10, 19 to take authority in his name and trample against all powers of darkness that are contending with us. The Bible also says in Psalm 35, 1b that God will fight against those that fight against you. The decision now lies with you. Do you want the Lord to fight against those that contend with you? Or do you want the Lord to pardon them? Now is the time to believe in these prayers I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord would fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I pray for you that the enemies who want to cause your downfall will be dumbfounded in the name of Jesus. I pray that the enemies will fall into the pits they have dug for you. I pray that the Lord will take hold of his shield and buckler and stand up for your help in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the enemies who have devised your hurt will be confounded. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord chases those that are in constant contention with you. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 that God will go before you to fight for you against all your enemies to give you victory. I pray that throughout this year, God will fight all your enemies and will always make you victorious. I pray for you that you will not be against yourself. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards to bring you shame are destroyed. I pray for you that all your enemies will begin to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that you are untouchable for the enemies. The Lord will keep on showing up for you against your enemies. The word of the Lord will always be your weapon of defense and of offense against the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the enemies will never frustrate God's promises for you. You hide under the tabernacle of the highest. You find safety and solace in his name, in the name of Jesus. The love of God makes you perfect and secure. 
I decree that all your days will be filled with glad tidings. You will always sing songs of victory and joy in the name of Jesus. I pray that the resurrection power of God is at work in you much more. Therefore, all that the enemies have stolen from you will be restored to you in sevenfold i decree that the name of the law would exempt you from the tragedies the enemies orchestrate daily christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law he has been made a curse for you because curse is anyone that hangs on the tree i pray for you that all generational curses that are alive in your lineage will never work against you in the name of jesus i pray for you that you're engulfed in the love grace and mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus and I decree that the ways of the wicked ones are slippery and their labor will be in futility against you I decree that your faith in Jesus always coming to help you will never fizzle out in the name of Jesus the veil has been turned therefore I decree that you access the presence of God with confidence and no power of darkness will stand against you I decree that as you journey in life all obstacles on your path of fulfilling God-given purpose will become stepping stones for you to walk on which will ease your journey to fulfill your purpose you are above the attacks of the enemies in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, the good thoughts the Lord has for you will never be contended against by the wicked ones. I thank you, Lord, for answering every one of our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. As believers, we are not to be ignorant of the devices of the devil. When the devil attacks you, the spirit of the Lord in you will raise a standard against him. You can always be sensitive to the devil's plot because you are led by the Holy Spirit. No divination against you can stand because you are a seed of Abraham. It has been clarified specifically in the Bible in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you you shall condemn the ball now lies in your court to stand your God against the devices of the wicked ones as I will be making these prayers and declarations over your life receive them in faith as it is only by faith you will overcome the wicked ones in the name of Jesus I decree over you that the attacks of the evil ones at you will be nullified by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that all the association of the wicked ones to cause your downfall will be scattered in the name of Jesus and I decree over you that you will not be caught unaware by the enemy's attack by the power and the blood, I decree that the blood of Jesus shields you from the wicked one's attacks. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you abide under the secret place of the highest and you hide under his mighty wings. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not be a tool of the enemies against your loved ones. I decree over you that the enemy's attacks against your finance will fall to the ground. I decree that the mark of Jesus is upon your forehead and he, this exempts you from the attacks of the devil and his cohorts. The word of God says in Luke 10, 19 that you have been given the authority to trample the on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you I decree that you work in the authority that Jesus has given to you to trample upon all the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus I pray that you would never be a casualty of accidents and strange pandemic the I plead the blood of Jesus over all of your possessions. I decree that you they will never be stolen by the enemies. 
The word of the Lord says in Ephesians 6 11 that you should put on the whole armor of God so that you will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I decree over you that you put on the whole armor of God and you are given the ability to stand against the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The word of God would always be your weapon of offense in the name of Jesus. You are shielded from the prying eyes of the powers of darkness. By the power in the name of Jesus, you are always victorious against all the enemies gathered around you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord would encamp around you and fight against all the wicked ones plotting your downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, you are never confused as touching what to do when the evil ones rise against you. I decree that the joy of the Lord would always be your strength anytime it looks like you are down. By the reason of the anointing of the Lord upon you, I pray for you that the anointing in you will destroy all the yokes of the evil ones upon your shoulders. In the name of Jesus, I decree that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for God is with you. I decree that the Lord would arise on your behalf and scatter all the enemies plotting your downfall. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the hedge the Lord has built around you will never be taken down. I pray for you that you will not unconsciously reveal your next move to the wicked ones. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not fall into the traps of the enemies. I decree that the enemies will fall into the pit they have dug for you and all the members of your family. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. One of the worst things that can happen to any man is when he doesn't have a bearing on his life. The devil loves it when people roam about aimlessly like a vagabond. His ultimate goal is to see that God's plan for man does not manifest. You're exempted from this. You can never be distracted because you have the Holy Spirit in you who will always lead, direct, and comfort you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Maximize the authority you have in Christ and put the devil and his pinions in their place. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you would never be distracted by the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends disguised to be good ones sent by the devil to make you distracted are put to shame. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that you will always do the right thing and at the right time. I also decree over you that you would not waste your time doing things that the Lord didn't send you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the plans of the evil ones to make you confused as touching steps and decisions you should take are put to null and void. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not leave the will of God for you. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I shield you from the attacks of the devil to make you useless in life. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 that there is a time for a purpose under the heaven. I decree over you that you will walk in God's timing for you and the plans of the devil and his agents to make you stray from his timing is an order in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not make a costly mistake that will affect your destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not miss the map God has set for you due to your selfish ambition. I pray for you that you are safe and secured in the secret place of the highest from the prying eyes of the evil ones who want you to be destitute and a nuisance. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all members of your family will not be distracted in their journey to the fulfillment of their destinies. 
by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the enemies who want you to make a costly mistake that will affect your business are put to shame in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. I pray for you that the name of Jesus will always shield you from distracting people. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always know the right people to mingle with. That will help you not to be distracted. I pray for you that the word of God will always keep you in check anytime you are straying from God's will for your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all Ahitophel like friends in your life leave you this instant. By the power in the name of Jesus I decree over you that you will not give attention to the forces of darkness whispering into your ears to leave the original plan of God for your life. In the name of Jesus I decree that God will always avenge you of all your adversaries who want to distress you at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord I therefore decree over you that all tongues that have sent projections at you to make you lose focus of who you are and where you're going are condemned in the name of Jesus I decree over you that whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not you will fulfill your God-given destiny I decree that the calling and the mandate of God upon your life will be evident for all to see. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Holy Spirit would always keep you in check and your sight is keen like never before. I decree over you that you will not burn out doing things that you are not supposed to do. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The best protection you can ever find is in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Proverbs 18.10 that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous runs into it and is saved. The devil's primary assignment is to steal, kill and destroy. But you can be in the pavilion of the highest and find safety. The Bible says in Psalm 91 verse 1, He that dwells in the secret place of the highest shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place of God is your best hiding place and you would find solace and safety there. I declare over you that you will find safety in His name, in Jesus' name. I urge you to receive this declaration with faith. The word of God in Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is your refuge and strength and a very present help in times of trouble. I pray for you that the Lord is your refuge and strength and he will always be your present help in times of trouble. In the name of Jesus, even though you pass through the waters, God will always be with you in your trying moments. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never fall into the traps of the enemy. The word of God says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verses 3 to 5 that God is faithful. He will establish and guard you against the evil one. I pray for you that God will establish you in his word and also protect you from the powers of darkness. I pray for you that you are strong and of good courage. You are not fearful for God is with you. I decree that a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes you will see the reward of the wicked in the land of the living. I decree over you that discretion will preserve you and understanding will keep you from the evil ones in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. I pray for you that the Lord covers you under his wings and underneath his secret place shall be your trust in the name of Jesus. 
I declare over you that the wisdom of God preserves and keeps you. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that God carries you in his hands all the days of your life and you will never live his grasp. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you fear not because God is with you. I pray that God goes with you to fight for you against your enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God is for you. Therefore, no one is against you. I pray for you that God is your helper and you do not fear what man can do to you. In the name of Jesus, I scatter all the associations of demons that are plotting to cause you an accident. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the arrow that flies by day will never hit you. In the name of Jesus, you stay in God's presence and nothing takes you from his presence. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I pray that the Lord is good to you and he is your stronghold in the day of trouble. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord would preserve you from evil work and preserve you for his kingdom. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that God is your hiding place. God shall preserve you from trouble. God was surrounded with songs of deliverance. I decree that the Lord is your shepherd and you shall not want. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil, for God is with you. You are the apple of God's eyes. Therefore, you will not be harmed by the evil ones. God hides you under the shadow of his mighty wings, and he will protect you from the wicked ones who oppress you. I declare over you that your eyes are fixed on God and your help and supply will always come from him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for our prayers being answered. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. There are evil companies that God wants you to stay away from as they might make you not reach your destination on time and they might make you leave the will of God for you. They might come as people that are pretending to be your friends, and yet they don't want the best for you, but they still laugh with you. I pray for you that all evil company around you will stay away from you in Jesus' name. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends pretending to be good friends around you will leave your side in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all that has been slandering you behind will melt like wax behind you. The Holy Ghost will expose all the evil people around you that are impeding your progress in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11 to 12, that we should have nothing to do with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather expose them in the name of Jesus I expose all the activities of evil friends around you by the power in the name of Jesus I pray for you that evil friends will not allow you to leave the will of God for you you are far above the hate of evil friends around you in the name of Jesus I pray for you that you will not be stuck in an evil friendship that will cost you in your walk with God in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus, I nullify every wrong agreement you might have made with evil friends in the name of Jesus. You will not wander around like a vagabond due to evil friends around you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I remove the veil the enemies have used to cover your eyes so that you wouldn't be able to differentiate the right company from the wrong one. I pray for you that the love of God in your heart will never wax cold, rather it will wax hot. I decree that evil companies would not make you stray outside the love of God in the name of Jesus. I decree over your life that you would never be lonely, which will in turn cause evil friends in locating you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I draw a demarcation between you and all the evil friends lurking around you. The word of God is on my lips and I decree that you would not become prey to the 
evil ones in the name of Jesus. I scatter every association of darkness that is disguised as friends of light around you in the name of Jesus. Just like the way Ahitophel's counsel to Absalom fell to the ground, I pray that the entire evil friend's counsel against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. You are blessed above the curses of the evil ones in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that no one will limit you from achieving your visions and dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the subtle attacks of evil associations against you are nullified in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that you have risen and you are shining for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17, A, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, I pray pronounce the judgment of the Lord against all weapons of the enemies who are pretending to be your friends. The Bible says in Isaiah 50 verse 9 that God will help you. Who is he that shall condemn you? Indeed, they will all grow old like a garment. The moth will eat them up. I pray for you that all those that have been tarnishing your image and soiling your reputation are written up by the moths in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 1 that there is now no condemnation to you because you are in Christ Jesus. I pray for you that there is no condemnation for you from evil friends. I decree that you jump over all the traps and godly friends of position for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that evil friends that are pretending to be good and spoiling your personality to your God-ordained helpers are put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you Lord for answering our prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. Bible is clear on the fact that we are not to allow the powers of darkness any breathing space as they are wicked and they won't repent. The Word of God tells us in Ephesians 6 12 to 18 that we should put on the whole armor of God to effectively have victory over the devil and his cohorts anytime they come against us. As children of God, we are not to labor and at the end of the day, there will be nothing to show for all our efforts. We are blessed, favored and redeemed by the Lord. Our efforts will yield tangible results in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Matthew 28 verse 18, that God has given us all authority in heaven and on earth. This means that whatsoever we decree will come to pass. I therefore decree that all of your efforts will yield tangible results in the name of Jesus. I decree that your little efforts to achieve greatness will never go unrewarded in the name of Jesus. I pray over you that you will eat the work of your hands Premature death would not take you away untimely, thus preventing you from eating your labor. I scatter all the powers of darkness that are plotting how to make you walk like an elephant and eat like an ant in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will walk being a prince that you are. You will ride on horses. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pronounce judgment of God upon all the enemies that want you to beg before you eat. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 3, 3, that God is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil ones. I decree over you that God is strengthening you and protecting you from all the evil ones that are bent on frustrating all your efforts in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you would never be an object of mockery to the evil ones in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the enemies would never rule over you. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of Median that allows you to labor and when you are to harvest what you sow, they will come and steal it away from you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that from today, you will not have wasted labor in all that you set your hands to do. In the name of Jesus, 
By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will rescue you from every attack and will bring you into safety. I pray for you that the good work God has started in you will be completed even unto the day of Christ. No one stops it from manifesting in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that God will manifest his almightiness in all facets of your life. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verse 7 that the Lord will keep you from all evil. He will watch over you. I pray for you that you go about your business. God will watch over you and keep you away from the evil of the day in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you won't lose your life to the evil ones who want you to wander about like a vagabond. I pray for you that you will never be a tool of the enemies against yourself. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not lose your means of earning a living. God will always be your source and sustainer. I pray for you that God will give you the ability to overcome all temptations the enemies will send your way to distract and frustrate you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that God will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. I pray for you, God breathes life into your efforts and makes them worthwhile. There is the speed of the Holy Ghost for you in your business and the work of your hands. I pray for you that you gain accelerated promotion in your workplace. I pray for you that you are not fearful of the enemy's antics because God is with you and his right hand would uphold you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the association of the enemies to make you murmur about your business is scattered. I decree over you that the works of your hands are blessed and there are no losses anymore for you in all you set your hands to do in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says in Matthew 11:12 that right from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and it is only those that are violent that will take it by force. This scripture simply means that to enforce God's will on earth, you have to do it forcefully because the devil and his cohorts hate when God's will manifests in the lives of his children. The only language that the kingdom of darkness understands is the language of violence. If you have not been violent in times past in enforcing the will of God for your life, now is the best time to do that. It is not too late to do that. The word of God is the most potent weapon you have to overthrow the enemy's plans against your life. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This is the confidence that we have to confront the devil and all his cohorts with. Take these prayers, decrees and declaration I will make over you very intentionally. Please don't be casual about it as every word I'll be uttering won't fall to the ground. I decree over you that all the plans of the enemies against you fall to the ground. Now, none will see the light of the day. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies targeted at you are destroyed and I condemn all tongues wagging at you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I scatter all the gathering of the kingdom of darkness that have sworn not to eat and drink until they see you perish. In the name of Jesus, I pray over you that you would never fall prey to the traps that the enemies would strategically place to catch you. I cover you and all the members of your family with the blood of Jesus.
The blood of Jesus will shield you from all evil. I nullify all the agenda of the devil and his cohorts orchestrated at you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the enemies will never divert all the resources that God has prepared for you. Whether the devil likes it or not for you, you will always triumph over him and all his minions. I decree that the plans of the enemies to frustrate all your efforts will be put to null and void. I decree that you put on the all the armor of the Lord and you stand against the wiles of the devil in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3, that God is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. I pray over you that God is strengthening and protecting you from the evil ones around you. I pray for you that you submit to God. You resist the devil and he frees from you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 8.37 that we are more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved us. I pray for you that you overcome the enemies all the time and they will fail in their plan to reinforce themselves. I decree that God is fighting for you and you hold your peace. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would never become an object of ridicule for the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that there is no stagnation, demotion or retrogation for you. I pray for you that the enemies will not steal, kill, and destroy all the good things God has specially reserved for you in the name of Jesus. You walk in the abundance of life and all the days of your life. I pray for you that no matter the obstacles that come your way, you will always jump over them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that delay has ended in your life from today you begin to work in god's perfect timing for you i pray for you again that you will know god's will for your life by the power in the name of jesus i pray for you the lines are falling for you in pleasant places and your path will keep on shining brighter every day even to the perfect day your victory is sealed already in the name of jesus Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Word of God in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22 says, that the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. When God blesses a man, no force of darkness can oppose the blessing of God upon you, no matter how hard they might try. You are too blessed to be cursed and your blessings are sealed in Jesus Christ because your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. Please say Amen as I make these declarations over you. I decree over your life that all that God has in store for you will manifest in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I declare that all the forces of darkness opposing the blessings of God upon your life will be exposed and destroyed. I decree that your blessings will be too hot for the enemy to handle in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the good work God has started in your life will be completed even unto the perfect day of Christ. Now is the time to personalize these prayers. God has placed his words in your mouth. Here is time to say these prayers in faith, believing that you will get what you ask of the Lord. I decree in the name of Jesus that all the blessings that God has given to me would never be opposed by the wicked ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the devil and his cohorts will be utterly confused as they plan to steal all the good things God has blessed me with. I declare and decree that all the powers of darkness that are plotting to take that which rightfully belonged to me to be scattered in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I call down the fire of the Holy Ghost upon the evil ones that are pretending to be happy with God's blessing upon me. I decree that all the blessings that God has blessed me with will never be hidden. 
the world will see them and give glory to God. All the good things that were stolen from me by the evil ones in the past, I decree that there is a restoration in a hundredfold in Jesus' name. The word of God says that I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I decree that I am blessed and there is nothing the evil ones can do about it. The word of God says in Numbers 6, 24 to 26, that the Lord will bless me and keep me and make his face shine upon me and be gracious to me and lift up his countenance upon me and give me peace. I declare that the blessings of the Lord upon me will be permanent and no one will be able to steal it from me and the countenance of the Lord will keep on shining on me which will make people to keep on favoring me in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all that the wicked ones that want to frustrate the blessing of God upon me are destroyed. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself and all the members of my family. I decree that I will show forth the blessings of the Lord upon me while still alive. I will never take an unfulfilled potential to the grave in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 67 verse 7 that God shall bless me and all the ends of the earth will tremble. I decree that men will begin to marvel at the extent that God will bless me this year in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus, I begin to show forth the praises of God who has called me from the darkness and brought me into his marvelous light. I decree that I am blessed and I will be a blessing to others around me by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree that the blessing of God upon me preserves me from all evil. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord directs me to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. Begin to thank God for answering all the prayers you have prayed today. This is the confidence that we have that whatsoever we ask the Father in His name, He will give it to us. We know that we can't ask God for bread and He will give us stone. He is the loving Father and is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you ask or think according to the power that works in you. God bless and keep you.